We need to talk about whether you all have the collective balls to watch women's basketball. And instead of enjoying a moment that was good for sports, good for women's basketball, we ended up talking about race, listening to terrible takes, instead of talking about the great play of Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese. And in case you weren't one of the 10 million people who watched LSU beat Iowa for the 2023 National Championship, or one of the 20 million people with a hot take on Angel Reese taunting Caitlin Clarks in the game's closing minutes, here's the background. LSU and their controversial wild dressing head coach Kim Mulkey overcame a week non-conference schedule, an early exit in the SEC championship to enter the tournament as a three seed on their way to the championship in the championship game. Now, on the other side, you had one of the best young female shooters of all time in Caitlin Clark, who led Iowa to a two seed and a stunning upset of favorite South Carolina in the final four. Now, Caitlin Clark from Iowa is a good example of a trash talker. She is a great player, and she was actually praised for waving off South Carolina's Raven Johnson, who was wide open at three for most of the game against South Carolina during their Final Four win. And cameras caught her telling uh, Kobe Bryant protege and Louisville star Haley Van Lith to shut up during the Elite Eight and then there's the whole John Cena, you can't see me celebration that she does to really show up her opponents. That brings us to LSU sophomore guard, Angel Reese, who did Caitlin Clark's signature celebration repeatedly at the end of the national championship game, as well as pointed to her ring finger. And then people were mad as hell. But about what? These are elite level players. And like it or not, trash talk is part of the game. And I don't know why that when our young ladies and women do it on the level that the men do it, all of a sudden we're so offended. Oh, God, no, that's terrible. Like, How did we get to the point that the people that used to be writing in comments and yelling kitchen to anybody who praised the entertainment value of women's basketball decided that not only do they like women's basketball, but they needed to adopt the game's best long range assassin as their personal damsel in distress. Caitlin Clark actually addressed the situation on outside the lines and said she respects Angel Reese and doesn't think that she should be criticized at all. So if Caitlin Clark is not upset, why should you be upset? Now, how should black folks, though, feel about the disproportionate response to Angel Reese's behavior? Or how should anybody with common sense feel for that matter? It causes people to question when Tom Brady breaks a tablet or cusses out a teammate and the response is he's just being fiery. He's a competitor. But then OBJ kicks a net and now he's a cancer to the team. What we saw between Caitlin Clark in the in the Elite Eight and the Final Four and then with Angel Reese is no different than Baker Mayfield planting a flag. Uh, the Kimbe Mutombo waving his finger. Reggie Miller doing a choke against the Knicks. Are these the most genteel and sportsmanlike moments in the world? No. But sports involve emotion and trash talk. And when you talk trash, you don't get to determine how it comes back. Sometimes it ain't measured at the same measure. It ain't equal. And this women's tournament generated so much buzz that there were no losers. It was great for everybody, for the sponsors, for the teams, for the individuals, for their name, image, and likeness, for everybody. Except for losers like Dave Portnoy, who decided to defend his setback of his great white hope by calling Angel Reese a piece of shit. And then admitted basketball ignoramus Keith Oberman, who called Reese a moron. It's fair to call them losers, though, because these women do not need you or anybody else to defend them. They need you to remember how much fun you had watching this tournament. And they need to make sure that we get a non-conference tournament with Louisville, Iowa, Miami, and South Carolina. Yes. And I'm hyped right now thinking about how, how mad Caitlin Clark is going to be. She's probably in the lab right now calling up a friend from another team like, yo, come join me and let's go beat their ass next season. And I can't wait to see what Angel Reese does with the attention that she's garnered. 
And you know Don Staley in South Carolina are sitting at home fuming about what they're going to do to everybody else next season because their perfect record and chance to repeat got ruined. Women's basketball is having a moment. And maybe part of that moment is actually being subjected to the same hot take idiocy that surrounds all of our American favorite pastimes. And it would be great, though, if a good thing didn't get ruined before it became great and greater. Let that sink in.